For Phil Martelli Jr., coaching has always been in the future. Being the son of former St. Joseph's head coach and current Michigan assistant, Phil Martelli Sr. Some would say he was born into the business. So I, would, I grew up around the game. My father was a coach, had been in gyms all my life. And when I was in middle school, I knew I knew I wanted to do two things. I wanted to play in the NBA, but I looked around the NBA and didn't see a whole lot of 5'10 unathletic white guys in the NBA. So I knew my next path would have to be coaching. Uh, so immediately fell, into co fell in love with coaching. Uh, as probably a seventh or eighth grader uh, while I was still playing. Started coaching young kids in summer leagues and uh, spring leagues uh, around my area. Did that all through uh, high school, college, uh, and then after college, got my first coaching job at Central Connecticut State University. Coming off a promising one point loss to a high major opponent, Syracuse, Bryant had the wheels rolling and were set to play the University of New Hampshire on the 1st of December. But on the morning of the 1st, Martelli got a call that he would be the head man with the clipboard. So the morning of the New Hampshire game, Coach Grasso called me uh, early that morning, said he was having uh, back issues and, and wasn't sure if he'd be able to coach the game. So immediately I started to get my mind around the fact that I might have to step in and be the head coach for that, that day, that game, and started to put my notes together and uh, put together my plan. And fortunately, we had had a couple days of practice and had already set a game plan with the players so they knew what to expect. Uh, but then he called me back a little while later and said it was confirmed, he wasn't gonna be able to make the trip, and that I was gonna step in for my first time as a head coach. With Grasso not on the sidelines, Martelli called for his players to step up, and so they did just that. Kiss with the long range pull up three. And again, Kiss with a deep three off the assist from Pride. And Christopher Childs with the dagger off the handoff from Green. For the Bulldogs, great effort by the Wildcats. Co Coach Martelli getting hugs from his team. And his staff it was a great win. Coach Harry and dapping everybody up. As the Bulldogs ice the game and pick up the first win of the season and the first win of Martelli's young coaching career.